One of the reasons we're paying quite a bit more now for our RC cars than we were last year and a year before, shipping prices have gone through the roof, manufacturing costs have gone through the roof, all to do with COVID and other stuff going on around the world. Anyway, we're not here to talk about politics. Some of the manufacturers out there, I believe, have thrown all them extra costs to us, the customer. However, you can still get some decent RCs out there that have not gone up much in price at all, if anything. <laughs> Yes, I got a Team Corrali hoodie on. I wasn't planning on doing this video today. It's just the one I put on this morning. This video is not sponsored by Corrali. I bought this myself. This is the Radix 4. It's a 4S capable 1.8 scale buggy. And in today's video, we're gonna have a quick look at it and then we're gonna charge a battery. We're gonna take it straight out and give it a rip. I did have a Radix 6 last year, 6S capable 1.8 buggy. It's got some slight differences compared to this Radix 4. Really, really good buggy. I actually got rid of it when I was thinning down before I moved into this place. I had to generate a little bit of cash to get this place and the Radix 6 unfortunately went. It was a toss up between that and and a Typhon 3S. I've got the big rock, which is pretty much the same as a Typhon. When I saw the cost of this compared to the 3S armor range, I thought 4S, metal chassis, big bore shocks, center diff, why wouldn't you buy this? It's cheaper. And at the moment in the UK, some places are selling the Radix 6 for about the same price as this. Again, cheaper than the 3S range. The Radix 6 is 1 8 scale, 6S capable, and it's cheaper than the Armour 3S range. I don't want this to sound like I'm hating on Armour because I do really like the Armour 3S range. It's one of my favorites, really good, tough bashers. I just think they're pricing themselves out of the market, especially when you get something like this for cheaper. It's got a 2,150 kV brushless motor. It's got the Torox 135 ESC. I think it's a rebranded Max 10, 4S capable. It's got a 20 kilo metal geared servo in there, not just front and rear diffs, but it's also got a center diff as well this is something that the uh, the 3s range don't have that that center diff so better handling really nice alloy bodied shocks and they feel good sway bars front and rear 17 mil hex metal chassis alloy front and rear shock towers and overall it is a really really nice looking buggy claims 50 mile an hour there's a little star next to that so that'll be with the correct gear in we'll speed test it i think it's i think it's good for about 35 maybe 40 mile an hour not sure but anyway we're gonna get a battery in it battery i'm using today is 120 c 5600 milliamp hour 4s from cnhl fits in that battery tray perfectly i'll leave a link to them in the description um if you're in the uk cnhl have now got a uk warehouse 24 hour shipping for most cases as well and these are good value for money. Transmitter it comes with is the S2R. This is the older style one from Team Crowley. I actually preferred this. The newer one is the CT2R. Look, it was blue skies when I started uh, recording this video in the uh, workshop. Now look, <laughs> typical. It's pretty windy as well. Anyway, let's do a quick speed test of this first, see what kind of speeds we're doing. I think it's good for about 30, 35. Not sure how much um, room we got here. It's a bit bendy, the path, but it's pretty solid this, so let's give it a quick burst past here. We should be able to get full throttle. Here we go. There's full throttle, there we go. Nice, very nice. That's planted, that is. Brakes are good. <laughs> you can program the ESC on this. The brakes are always set really hard on these. 39, that's better than I thought. So yeah, let's say 39, 40 mile an hour, decent. I was really impressed with the uh, Radix 6, just, you know, just on how it handled, it was really nice. And it was actually good on 4S as well as 6. But this, I think, is probably a perfect balance for, <laughs> perfect balance for, uh, for this kind of use. It's not a skate park basher, let's get that out of the way straight away. It's a 1.8 scale buggy, it's designed for this kind of environment, off-road, a few jumps, like a BMX track. And it's got plenty of power. That is nice. Could do with this little dirt track being a bit wider. It's a bit tight for the thing this size. But there's some nice jumps. And this thing does jump well. Well, I'm impressed with this, guys. I am impressed. Nice. <laughs> very well balanced plenty of power suspension straight out of the box seems to be working fine oh yeah this is good out of the box this is pretty well tuned the suspension seems all right oh, that dug a hole got a mark so you can see it's got plenty of power ripping up the mud Oh, 
Oh, that was nice as well. Very well balanced. I don't even know whether this is better than the six, you know. <laughs> I think it's a little bit lighter. The six was good, but I don't remember it being like this well balanced. Maybe this is just tuned better. Long grass. It goes right on long grass as well. It's got enough power for that. Yeah, that is nice. I know I keep saying nice, 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 but it's because it is. Nothing really more to say about it, guys. You can just see how well it performs. It's mad, absolutely mad, and I love it. <laughs> there is a skate park over there. I'm not taking it there because I will end up probably breaking it. Oh. <laughs> So balanced, so, so balanced. I know a few people questioned my driving on the Skeeter video, but I can drive. I just found the Skeeter relatively hard to handle. Whereas this handles absolutely great. Anyway, that is the Radix 4 from Team Corrali. I am super impressed. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. <laughs>